gets actually very excited about laundry. It's Mary Dobson, everyone. There's no way we can talk about cleaning without having you on this well, show. Well, you know, ironing is my absolute favorite thing, and <gasps> hand She's laundry, being all that stuff <laughs> makes me very happy. Now, a lot of us love sheets. You, you love good sheets, but we're always people are always talking about thread count. Mm -hmm. And so I thought maybe you could teach us a little bit about what the different thread counts mean, sure. what we should be looking yes. for. Yes, and it is very misleading and very sort of worrying for people because they're not sure what it means. We have three here. One is a 350, one is a 660, and mm -hmm. one is a 1000. Mm -hmm. And you think, ooh, okay, 1000, it's got to feel the best. But And I know you can't feel at home, but these actually don't feel all that different. If you you go from one to the next to the next yeah. and sometimes that's because of the type of weave it is if it's a sateen weave it means they go over two and under one which is sorry about that but it just makes that. it smoother yeah. think of like satin it's right. just the way it's woven but also if you feel this green one this is an egyptian cotton look for words that say egyptian cotton or pima cotton okay. because basically it's a longer staple staple fiber the reason that sheets will feel rough is that it's a short stubby little fiber okay. the thing to remember too on a high thread count is that sometimes although it may say it's 800 threads there may be four threads twisted together so when it's all actually woven together it's more like a 250 when it's all kind of oh, compressed down and because it's short fibers it has more little sort of edges to yeah. to catch you so how do you pick well I do typically, you just feel them I well no 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 well no. first of all sometimes you can't get it in the bag at the store because the zipper's got a little lock on it right but you feel it and it feels really nice mm -hmm. but sometimes there's a sizing in there to make them feel really smooth mm. and then when you wash them they're kind of uh. yeah so I always look at certainly a mid-range thread count unless I'm spending a fortune on the sheets and then if it's a high thread count and they're really really expensive like I'm pretty sure these are good Right. But a mid-range, if it's a good quality cotton, again, the Pima or the Egyptian, and again, you're going to get what you pay for. If okay. it's such a deal, it's probably not. It's probably it's not probably so not. good. So what, was, what would mid-range be? Uh, certainly around the four up to six is very okay. luxurious. I, but anything around 250, unless it's really, really, really good cotton, it's going to feel a Forget little it. rougher. It's going to feel a little right. rougher. Unless you're into that sort of thing. You yes. know, everybody's yeah. different. Some okay. people might want a little bit more abrasion on their sheets. Who well, knows? Hey, it's exfoliation. That's right. We're okay, now, they, okay. they look really pretty, but yes. to make them like, folded and beautiful like well, this? Well, exactly, because you need it's to launder them. It's a Herculean effort. Yes, you need to launder them, and I know lots of people who take them off, launder them, and put them back on the bed, so the whole folding thing is not an issue. Yeah, that's it true. It never really comes into sort of the whole thing. But what we want to do is launder our sheets. Uh, certainly, you don't want to do too many in the washer at once. Even those high-efficiency washers, you have, you'll find that all, everything gets caught in the corners of your fitted sheets, so yeah. don't do more than two sets of sheets at one time. Okay. That's and fair. Who, who loves off. folding their fitted sheets? Yeah. Isn't it fun? So you have this is how my <laughs> look when they're done being folded. <laughs> look, there we go. They and you wait right come, there until yeah. I need you. They have to come out of the dryer right away. I'm not going to typically iron my fitted sheets. I will iron the top one third of my flat because that's all anyone's. Is that wrong? Oh, is that what you do? Just the top. No, I'm happy to hear yeah. that you okay. cheat a little bit. All right. That so makes me happy. Here's the scary thing. My husband knew how to do this when I met him, and he will not tell me who taught him. <gasps> that's probably why you married him. Yeah, maybe. He knew all how right. to fold a fitted so sheet. So here's a fitted sheet. What we're going to do uh -huh. is take one side. Can you uh -huh. turn it inside out? Stick your hand in that corner. Yeah. And then you'll see your opposite corner. Yeah. Aim for that. So stick Shove it, it in right there. in there. You've taught me this before. And I I'm have, still, I'm but still it never useless. gets old. Okay. Okay. So then now we have a nice rectangle. We have a nice rectangle. So probably if we come back to the table, sure. it'll be a little easier to do this. So if we come over, what we want to do is if you've got your corners, I'm going to take this other corner, flip it the opposite way. You want me to do that too? And I'm going to, no, I'm going to aim for you. Okay, so, so I'm going to grab yours. Yeah, and then we'll lay it down. This is where I always go wrong. Yes, and I do mine midair just because I like the challenge. Does anyone help you? Does Colin no, help you? No, no, no. He, he you likes do it to, all yourself. Yeah, he okay. likes to let me know knows how, but okay. that's the end of that. Now all right, you have so a nice square almost. So we've got a nice almost. rectangle. Yeah. So what we're going to do is hide the messy part. Mm -hmm. We're going to fold that in a third. Okay, you fold in thirds? Third. Okay. Always, oh. 
Always. I mean, of course, we always, always fold in thirds. Fold again. I thought it would be nice if we just slapped it all we together. We fold but in that's thirds. Fine. Uh huh. And then we fold in thirds. Isn't that pretty? And then, which uh -huh. I didn't do, but I will take my. Pretend I've already I folded this. Yeah. But there's my flat sheet and my fitted sheet, and then I take one of my pillowcases. Right. And you put it all together? I put, put it all it together so that when it's in the linen closet, if someone goes in my linen closet and disturbs things, oh, you do put it all together. Is together. Oh, Mary. I think just give her a hand for that cuz she's going to feel good. Oh yeah. And we make it look nice the queen. and tidy. Very nice. I pretend that's tidy. I'm okay. gonna try and um, I'm gonna try and do that from now on. Maybe not the last step, but I'm gonna try and do everything else. <laughs> and I will report back to okay, you I because would... I needed that refresher. Yeah, you know it's the teacher in me. Absolutely. All right, let's go to break. We've got much more coming up. Stay with us. That it's was so impressive. Fun.